In the first part of the program, you got to know the basic electronic components and saw how huge numbers of them are packed into integrated circuits, how these in turn are put together in control units, and how control units are connected together to form the electrical system of a vehicle. In this part of the program, you will find out how electronic components interact. You will often hear the word digital. What this means and what it has to do with electronics will be explained first of all. Let's start with the opposite of digital. Many signals in a motor vehicle are analog in nature. This means that the signal is continuously variable. Start the engine and look at the example of the coolant temperature. When you start the engine, the coolant temperature rises gradually rather than in increments. Accordingly, the resistance of the coolant temperature sensor, an NTC thermistor, also changes gradually. The voltage at the control unit input changes in the same way. The control unit, however, operates digitally. See how the signal changes incrementally. These days, computations are made digitally, which means they are based on number systems. For everyday purposes, we use the base 10 or decimal system. This is where the word digital comes from, since we count using our ten fingers, and the Latin word for finger is digitus. Ten different numbers are used in the decimal system, from 0, 1, 2 to 9. However, ten different numbers are difficult to represent in electronic circuits. Therefore, a different number system is used for calculations in electronic systems. The binary system is a number system which can easily be represented using electronic switches. The only numbers it uses are 0 and 1. You can count from 0 to 1, and the next step is a carryover. This number is pronounced 1, 0, so that it can't be confused with 10. The next number up is 1, 1. Go back to the beginning and click the button to carry on counting. You have now counted to 10000. How many times did you click? If you weren't counting along, you can click the additional info, where you can find out how to convert binary numbers to decimal. You will also find out about another number system, the hexadecimal system. In electronics, it is very easy to create two states. These are referred to as binary. You will remember the on and off states of a transistor. Click the switch a few times and watch both the voltage shown on the collector and the LED. Depending on the switch state, there is either a high or a low voltage at the collector. These voltage states are called high and low. They can represent the two numbers 1 and 0 in the binary system. You will find out more in this section. Now you know what binary states are. Can you think of any more examples? Click the pictures.
When the solenoid valve is energized, it opens the way for air or hydraulic fluid. When the vehicle key is pressed, it sends a binary radio wave, otherwise it does not. The crankshaft hall effect sensor sends a voltage signal if a metal part approaches. The steering angle sensor in a car has several apertures and light barriers. If the light beam from the LED passes through the slot in the aperture onto the phototransistor, this is activated. A switch is the most obvious example. Contact open, contact closed. When the relay is energized, the contact closes. The contact of the read relay is closed in the presence and opened in the absence of a magnetic field. All the signal lamps in the vehicle have binary states, on and off. If the sequence of binary states is recorded, it is called a binary signal. This section shows how binary states are turned into digital signals. Binary signals are often voltage signals. A voltage approaching the operating voltage is called the high level. A voltage approaching zero volts is called the low level. These binary states can be assigned binary numbers. For example, low equals zero, high equals one. Thus, a binary signal looks like a series of digits. Click the diagram to replace it with a real one recorded on the CAN bus. Control units in motor vehicles are often connected to what is known as a high-speed CAN bus. The CAN bus has two wires. Click the wires to see how 0 and 1 are represented electronically. On the CAN high wire, 0 is 2.5 volts and 1 is 3.5 volts. On the CAN low wire, 0 is 2.5 volts and 1 is 1.5 volts. Thus, the representations of 0 and 1 are opposite on the two wires. To help you remember, the name of the wire tells you the voltage for the number 1. Click the diagram to see a real signal characteristic. The binary states on the CAN bus change so quickly that all you can see are needle-shaped packets of pulses. Signal wires in motor vehicles are often exposed to interference from electromagnetic fields. These can be from external sources such as radio transmitters or power substations. Internal interference sources include spark plugs, electric motors and relays. This interference is picked up by the signal wires and is superimposed on the signal. Click the signal wire with the analog and the digital signal. Interference to the analog signal corrupts the value of the signal. Interference to the digital signal corrupts the shape of the signal. As long as the signals remain within the voltage tolerances for high and low, interference does not affect the represented value. Signals often have to be sent along long wires or via contacts with a contact resistance. With analog signals, the voltage decreases along the line. This corrupts the signal. The same applies to binary signals. However, as long as the voltage remains within the set ranges, the signal is not corrupted. Because binary signals only represent 0 or 1, detailed information must be encoded using chains of binary digits. Click the switch to set the temperature in the interior. Watch the number on the display as well as the one used inside the control unit.
you may continue to change the temperature if you desire. You can also look at the additional information for an easy way to convert binary numbers into decimal and vice versa. Each position in a binary number is represented by a separate binary element known as a bit. In the control unit, these are the memory cells in the integrated circuits. For example, a complementary pair of N and P channel field effect transistors. Try it out.